Hey everyone, Eric here from Bowen Technology. Today we're gonna to be going over some of the basics on Dante AV networking. We'll be discussing network switches and the best ones to use for your applications. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about what bandwidth is and how to make sure you have enough for all the devices connected to your Dante AV network. And lastly, we'll talk about PoE and the different power ratings associated with this feature. Let's go ahead and get started. So Dante AV works with a star topology network method where all the devices are connected to a centralized hub or switch and the centralized switch acts as a server and everything else connected to it is a client. As good practice, video devices and audio devices should be on separate network switches to avoid taking up too much bandwidth on one switch. Uh, you can go ahead and join the devices together with a switch between the two and connect the devices to work seamlessly together. With the demand for high quality video footage, 4K network video devices are sending more data information over the network and in some cases slowing things down. So which network switch should you buy? For most basic applications, a one gigabit network switch should be able to handle all of your Dante enabled devices when it comes to audio and will work with most video devices on the network. Uh, you do not need any specialized network infrastructure for the Dante AV network. Just make sure when selecting a network switch that it has these options available. The ability to turn off energy efficient ethernet or EEE and make sure that the network switch is a managed switch that has IGMP snooping available as well as QoS enabled. And also make sure that it has PoE++ available for the ports. With QoS enabled on your network switch, heavy network traffic from other sources like printers, email servers, and shared drives will not cause any issues on the Dante network. Now when we start talking about bandwidth, the best way to think of it is as a freeway. The number of lanes on the freeway is the bandwidth and the size of the cars are the different sizes of data. As more bigger cars start to travel on the freeway, it starts to back up the smaller cars that are traveling much faster and causes traffic. With our Dante video devices, we get asked a lot how many cameras can fit on a one gigabit network switch. If we use the freeway analogy in our previous example, we can say that the 4K cameras are the semi-trucks and the 4K 30s are the SUVs and 1080p is your normal car ranging from a full-size sedan to a two-door coupe. If we try to have two semis, or our 4K 60 cameras, on a two-lane freeway, we will create a traffic jam. It's only possible to have one 4K 60 camera on a one gigabit network switch and up to 10 1080p cameras on a one gigabit network switch. It is good practice to keep bandwidth util utilization on any given link below 70% as anything above that number will cause clock synchronization issues on the Dante network. It's also not possible to use Dante over Wi-Fi as wireless technology is not reliable or stable enough for audio and video and the ultra low latency feature is unachievable. You can, however, use Dante controller to control and configure the Dante network over Wi-Fi. So power does matter when trying to use power over the ethernet as there are a few different types of power standards with PoE. Regular PoE has the IEEE 802.3AF standard, which has a power rating of 15 watts, but will lose some power during transmission over the ethernet cable and will come out to around 12 watts per port. PoE Plus has an IEEE 802.3AT standard, which has a power rating of 30 watts, but due to power loss from transmission, the total output per port is about 25 watts. PoE++ is an 802.3BT standard and has two types of power ratings. Type 3 has a power rating of 60 watts, but after loss, of, it has a total of 51 watts. Type 4 has a power rating of 100 watts and after a loss has a total of 90 watts per port, which is enough to power and fully control our PTZ cameras uh, here at, over at Bullen. While PoE Plus ports will power our cameras, you may run into issues with video quality or control due to the lack of power from, from the power loss during transmission. 
we recommend that you use a network switch that has a PoE++ to have enough power to run our cameras correctly. Uh, currently, we're using Netgear's M4250-10G2XF PoE++ network switch, and it has 90 watts per port. Uh, please keep in mind that some network switches will limit the amount of power out per port, so even though it's a PoE++, the ports can be limited to about 50 watts per port. It will be enough to power our cameras, but if there's other devices that are on the network switch, you can start running into power issues later on down the road. Please always feel free to check out our website for in-depth knowledge on our products that we offer and to see what else is coming out new. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching.